Perky Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz. And look, camo do. You can't see it, can you? It's camouflage. All right, let's get started and talk about the latest flight test plane that I decided to go ahead and tackle. The FT Simple Cub. And, you know, some of the reasons I picked this particular plane, one, of course, of which is I just, I just like Cub-style planes. I just have a preference towards the high wing. Don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm just a simple guy, and high wings are usually simple, easier to fly planes. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I chose the plane for a couple different reasons, aside from just liking Cubs. Um, one, of course, of which is that, you know, when they say simple Cub, they truly went kind of sought out to make it fairly simple. Uh, um, simple design. Uh, simple as in easy to put together. I think there's 10 or 11 pieces of foam required to put it together. Um, and just, like, just it's just simple. I mean, why pass that up? So that's that's one reason why I did it. Um, it's just because of the, uh, you know, how easy it is to put it together and all that kind of stuff. I, I will say this. If you have never, ever build a flight test plane before um, even if you do decide even if you decide not to fly it I'd recommend putting the simple cup together it'll give you a good practice and there's not a lot of pieces of foam to worry about really really a you know like a super easy plane to put together and um, like I said a good starting point if you're starting into flight test building second reason I decided to pick this particular plane is that I, I've kind of thought ahead and I, I was thinking about our RC club that I'm a member of and um, uh, doing buddy boxing and stuff and every year we tend to we hold a, a fly in and we we do feature um, you know one of our um, pilots there whoever wishes to volunteer to do it to do some buddy boxing with whoever wants to uh, you know whoever wants to try and fly stuff for those that are coming out and visiting and stuff like that and uh, yeah one year I decided to help out with that and I used my trusty old three channel hobby zone champ to, to teaching people how to fly and it was it was a little um, the person I had was a little kid, and he just he loved it. He really did. He was kind of scared, but he he definitely enjoyed himself. But you know, I wanted something that I could more or less share that experience with. Another more or less buddy boxing, simple to fly plane that was a three channel, much like my hobby zone champ, um, to help you know teach someone the basics of flying on RC plane. So that's one of the reasons. Another one of the main reasons why I took the FT Simple Cup on and decided to go ahead with it is yeah, something I can go ahead and take out to the RC field and um, help some new pilots learn how to fly. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive into just some basic things here on the uh, FT Simple Cub that I had came across. Ta-da! Here it is. The FT Simple Cub in all its simple glory, gloriousness. Okay. Uh, a couple things on the uh, simple cup here. Um, I since the uh, storch is going to be undergoing some um, uh, a sort of a makeover and some and some updates. I just went ahead and snatched the power pod out of the storch and put it in the simple cub. Uh, I believe it's an 1100 kb motor, uh, 30 amp ESC. Um, and I still use the same. I think it was a nine by six props when I ended up using on the storch. Um, so, but I'll make sure and provide that information down below so you guys can check that out uh, if you want to get a similar motor or ESC for it. Uh, on the prop, I may leave it with a 9x6 or I could change it out for a uh, slow fly or something like that. <clears throat> um, something else on the storage, or excuse me, on the FT Simple Cub uh, is in the build video, it. Uh, they were, uh, in, in the build video, Josh was saying um, he was mounting the servos for the elevator and rudder about where this window is and doing a long push rod run all the way to the tail section. And from this angle, you can see that that did not quite happen. Um, if you recall from one of my latest videos, one of my last videos I just did, uh, I was talking about flexing push rods. And this was the plane that I was having that issue with. So... Um, I ended up putting the push rods or putting the servos at the tail as you can see here and using a, a, a stiffer push rod uh, for the uh, 
control surfaces. So uh, that's just my experience. Uh, you guys may have a similar experience, or you all, uh, when you guys do it, maybe yours uh, worked out fine. But for me, this is what worked out best. <clears throat> so, but that is pretty much it. I would say we'll be doing a maiden here pretty soon. So please stay tuned. And like I said, I'll provide the PowerPoint information in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, just leave some comments. And that is all on the FT Simple Cub for now. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.